Hi, I'm Matthew Malcolm with California Dairy Magazine, and today at the Subsurface Alfalfa Drip Irrigation Field Tour, I got to meet with Dennis Hannaford, who talked about the different factors to consider in maximizing irrigation efficiency in alfalfa. I think it's a key to, to success, to part of your keys to success in, in agriculture is to understand the water quality and what you're putting on this ground, and that relationship with the soils and the, and, and the plants. Um, Plus, we need to, we're, we're running this water through a very small orifice, and we need to um, protect those orifices from clogging. And a lot of what's in the water, dissolved minerals in the water, will precipitate out or form scales that will start to clog our drippers, and we need them cleaned up. So understanding the water quality and developing a strategy going in as a first step in a, any project design, I think is a very important critical component of, of drip, and we need to understand uh, more about what the water we have and, and the quality that we have. The drought is is uh, degrading this quality of water because we have a finite amount of water coming in and we're pumping it out and we're concentrating the, the minerals, the dissolved minerals in that water which are raising the pHs of our water so understanding water quality in the real time is very important moving ahead. So that's that was kind of number one. And then uh, as far as alfalfa, related to alfalfa, we're putting these, these, these stands in planting alfalfa for a four to five year uh, lifespan. And actually on drip we're seeing uh, anywhere from one to three years extended life on that because we're managing our irrigations better. We're, we're managing our moisture levels better and we're keeping that alfalfa happier and not stressing it. And so that's... Uh, uh, generate a longer lived stand. One of the questions that I'm asked a lot is what depth and at what lateral spacing should I be putting putting this in? And that's a that's gonna vary from site to site. Sandier soils you're gonna be closer lateral spacings and probably a little shallower depth than on heavier soils. Generally speaking right now we're putting these in at about 40 inch uh, spacing between our drip laterals and at about 12 to 14 inches deep. I would like to see us uh, shoot for that 10 to 12 inch depth. I think from what I've seen across the state, the guys that are in that 10 to 12 inch range are, are doing a much better job of supplying the moisture where most of your nutrient and moisture uptake is. Most of those roots in your alfalfa that are taking out, which about 75% of them are in the top two feet. So we've got to wet that soil in order for roots to generate and to pick up that moisture and nutrients in that area. That's hurting our yields a little bit. Going too deep, we can't wet that upper upper regions, and therefore we're not getting the maximum potential out of our stands. Um, so depth, uh, lateral placement, we want to look at in a forage application. We want to get away from a row crop thinking where we're going to put a lateral down on, say, processing tomatoes, and then we're going to grow this uh, root zone or manage this root zone, confined root zone in that processing tomatoes to manage that crop. And we're doing an excellent job. The farmers are doing an excellent job of that doubling yields on processing tomatoes. With alfalfa, we're not a row crop, we're a broadcasted crop. So we, we can't confine that root system by wetting only a small sphere. We've got to wet a clear across our between laterals in order to manage that crop and to get the most potential for that. That is just going to take some um, experimenting. Don't go wider than 40. Talk to your neighbors. Um, the, the neighbor experience is probably some of the, the best advice you can get. Don't reinvent the wheel. Talk to your neighbors, see what they're doing. And most of the alfalfa growers that I've talked to wish they would have put their laterals in a little closer than what they have. So generally across the board, 40 inch laterals and 12 inch depth um, and closer if it's sandy soils and shallower if it's uh, sandy soils. Thank you, Dennis. Learn more about improving the irrigation systems for your feed and forage crops by reading California Dairy Magazine. I'm Matthew Malcolm, CaliforniaAgnet.com.